Hey YouTube, it's Toot here, and in this video I want to talk you through how to replace the grips on your Elite controller. If, like me, you had an Elite controller and the grips peeled away after a while, you can replace them with scuff replacement grips. I think you can also find other aftermarket ones um, out there in the stores. I struggled to find them, there were plenty that um, I found but were currently unavailable, and in the end I managed to pick up some scuff ones which also came with some replacement Elite thumbsticks as well. And these are scuff grips and thumbsticks that are specifically designed to go onto the Xbox Elite controller. So in this video I'm going to show you how to replace those grips. Now when you buy the grips they do come with all of the tools you need and some instructions but I did find that although the instructions are good it's it doesn't quite match up to actually seeing it happen and also I think there's a key part in the instructions that I wouldn't recommend you follow because it just doesn't seem uh, seem right to me but let's go through this anyway. So here you can see the Elite controller my blue velvet Elite controller from Custom Controllers UK and on the back I've got the perfectly regular Elite grips and I'm going to replace them with these scuff grips which I did have attached to my old Elite controller. Now the reason why I bought the Blue Velvet controller was because the left trigger on the Elite when I put the scuff grips on were clicky and didn't work properly so I decided just to buy a, a new controller. Now with the grips you get this tool it's called a spudger I think it's the kind of thing that you use for taking apart iPhones this does come with the grips so you don't have to buy anything extra which is good because the grips and the replacement thumbstick are expensive enough as is. So as you can see here this is my old Elite controller and I have already removed the grips from there. So firstly, I need to show you how to take the grips off of the controller and then we will put the grips back onto the new Elite controller, the Blue Velvet controller. Now what I will say is, um, this is tricky the first time you do it. Once you've done it a couple of times, it gets a bit easier. And this is the first part of the instructions that I'd recommend you don't follow on the scuff grip replacement sheet. Um, it advises that you put the spudger into the top where the trigger is and, and pry the the um, grip away from there. I personally don't like doing that. I think it will apply a bit of pressure to the trigger and I just don't, don't really trust it. So instead I prefer just to get the spudger straight into that little gap on the outside edge of the grip and start prying it away. Now you want to be a little bit careful because the grip is held in by clips and you don't want to break those clips. Um, I've broken one clip but other than that I've been fine. Uh, when I've done this replacement. So you just need to be a little bit careful, just gently pry it away and as you get a little bit away from the controller, just pull it gently with your fingers to make sure that that clip has come out so that as you go around the rest of the grip, um, it doesn't automatically just pop back in. Now this is difficult to do when I'm trying to keep it lined up for a video camera. What you wanna do is you probably wanna sit in a comfortable chair and just have the controller in your lap as you do it so that you can move it around a lot. Obviously here I'm struggling a bit because I'm trying to keep, uh, keep everything on screen for you guys to look at. So as you've done the outside, you can then move on to do the inside, and there you saw the grip just pop away. If you're doing this in a comfortable environment, like on your lap, you can stop it from popping off like that. Now as you can see on the handle itself, there's a little bit of double-sided sticky tape that came with the replacement grips, and is what's used to also hold in place the um, standard grips. Now in this tutorial, I'm choosing not to replace that double-sided sticky tape at all. Um, I don't think you really need it, depending on how often you want to change these grips over. I mean, ha having that tape there certainly isn't going to do a great deal in terms of just stopping the grip falling off um, during regular use. What you could do, is, of course, is just buy um, a bit of double-sided sellotape from, from your, your craft store or wherever uh, to, to replace that bit of tape there. As you can see, there's that bit of double-sided sellotape. And now we have a blue velvet controller with no Xbox grips on. And that's it, we're done with that tool. So the next part of the job is to take the scuff grips, um, you'd apply your double-sided sellotape, and then the grip just very simply pops on. Simple as that, and that's it, the grip is back on and ready for use. So let's put the right-hand side grip back on, just clicks into place, and that's it, that's the job effectively done. So those are the scuff grips, they feel a lot less prone to peeling away than, uh, than the originals. Now as you can see there, the right trigger is a little bit clicky. The left one doesn't really click, but the right one does, and I can feel a sort of resistance as you press it down on the right hand side of that trigger. And this is the reason why I bought the Blue Velvet controller, because when I put these grips onto my original Elite, the left hand um, trigger had this same problem where it would sort of press against something inside and I was worried that I'd broken it. I didn't want to do any more with it, so I thought, you know what, I'll just get a new controller. But having got the new controller, I decided that I want to put these scuff grips on. I thought, I, I won't break this one. Now, as you can see, once the grip is off, there is actually no problem with the trigger. There's no clicking. But when I put the grip on, 
it makes a noise and the Elite Controller sticks are pretty silent. So when you have it on the long throw like that, which is standard, you would expect there to be very little sound um, actually made when you squeeze that trigger. But for some reason on the right hand side grip, there was noise um, and you could feel it sort of grind a bit, which is a little bit uncomfortable and it's not particularly easy um, to use and not quite how it should be. So as you squeeze the original Elite triggers, as you can see, no sound. They're very, very smooth, unlike what I just did on the Blue Velvet controller. So as I had the problem only with the controllers with the scuff grips on, that leads me to believe there's a slight issue with the scuff grips in terms of being a standard regular fit. So what I did was I popped the grips off and I had a look at them compared to the original. Now as you can see here, this is a scuff grip and the clip there is slightly larger than the Elite grip, which is on the right hand side. You can see the Elite clip is a lot thinner. So I shaved that down with a craft knife and I still had the very same problem. What I found was that if I pushed the trigger slightly to the left as I squeezed it, there was no resistance. But if I pulled the trigger slightly over to the right hand side of the controller as I squeezed it, that's when I felt that resistance. So I had a look at the original Elite um, grip and found that there's this uh, little bit right at the top there which you can see on the scuff grip is a little bit gnawed away but on the elite grip it's, it's it's smooth and it's doesn't stick out as much so what I've done here is the reason it's gnawed away is because I took my craft knife I gave it a bit of a shave down to make it shorter and as you can see when I replace the grip um, there is now no sound at all coming from that. There's no resistance and that's the problem with the scuff grip. That bit at the top was just a little bit too big along also with the clip that was on the right hand side of the grip. So if you have this problem when you put your scuff grips on, just shave it down a little bit. Just work out where the problem is and just shave it down a little bit to make sure that um, there's nothing there that the trigger is going to get caught on. And that's how you replace the grips. It's not a particularly difficult job. It's just getting over that initial fear that you've paid a lot of money for a controller and you don't want to break it. There is obviously that issue where you really don't want to break it. So if you're nervous about doing this kind of thing, then find someone who's maybe a bit more competent at it or maybe just don't do it at all. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple job to replace. And I think the scuff grips are less prone to peeling away than the original grips so i'll keep going with this controller with the blue velvet controller and the scuff grips and i'll let you guys know in the future if i suffer any issues thank you very much for watching hope you've liked this video if you have please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my future videos and i'll catch you next time thanks guys